What are your thoughts on the Young Bucks heel turn and recent booking? Any thoughts on the Bullet Club reunion overall? I think the Bucks are are, are doing great as heels, and, and it's really interesting in that for a team that is primarily, I don't know if primarily is right, probably, primarily is popular because of their match quality, the, the level of action and excitement of moves, generally are going to be baby faces because we like what they do. But they have such tremendous heel personalities, like just the smug look on their face when they come out. It's like, I want to kill these guys. <laughs> and, you know, the, you know, the cheesy headbands with the, the tassels on them and the obnoxious shoes that they've really done a great job. And again, my experience of, of the Young Bucks is primarily AEW. But they've done a tremendous job in this transformation to just be such obnoxious pricks that even though they're out there having these exciting matches with all these moves, I still genuinely hate them. So I, I think the the heel turn has been quite good in that regard because it's hard to try to be that exciting and do so much cool shit and still be hated and i think they're they're finding a means by which to do it i think they're the absolute greatest heels young bucks and kenny and don Callis are just the greatest heel act and it's also fun because they know exactly the buttons to push for a certain segment of fandom which just gets so infuriated by them and of course they're loud and vocal on the internet so it brings even more attention to them and they revel in it so Check out the uh, the Young Bucks uh, Twitter account where they've been uh, changing their bio on a regular basis. It's the greatest. Lance is doing his online coaching service <laughs> as he reviews and critiques the Battle of the Empire. This match is reminiscent of Flair Steamboat. Unfortunately, it's Vic Steamboat and David yes. Flair. Oh, terrible. And then again, this is what threw me because... That is not a particularly babyface thing to do. I wouldn't say we were both heels, but I, I could argue we were both unlikable. <laughs> <laughs> and to this day. Cardio and lack of interest is a big part. I think Orange Cassidy stole his gimmick from Vinny. Look at the cover of this DVD. It's one of my favorite photos of myself ever taken. And it is absolutely Orange Cassidy. You do vocal. look exactly like Orange Cassidy, just much yes. larger. Yes, and worse. Watch Vinny's head <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> bounce off the mat when he misses this elbow. Face the wrong way. Oh, God. <laughs> Putting your own how, move on How disgraceful you. to put the, the man behind figure four in a figure four. This was really well done here at the end, though. You hit this so dead perfect in the middle. Not that chop, though. No. No! You need the flailing because there needs to be energy to the spot because it's supposed to be fun. The crowd wants to be excited, so someone has to display energy, and it's not going to be the man in the ring. <laughs> oh, no, you. don't do that. What are you doing? <laughs> Mini you fool! Frozen. I got a little else to say. It's not very good. I miss chopping people. Wasn't the best match of all time. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you got five stars. Could probably take some lessons from Miz on how to work. Oh, get out of here. If you're out there listening and you would like Lance to uh, review one of your matches, much like he did to ours here, how do they do this, Lance? They can email me at swavirtualtraining at gmail.com. As I mentioned, the price is uh, 125 US for a single session. Uh, 300 for three. So again, SWA virtual training at gmail.com. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.